this is this is a, a cuff and collar. So this is uh, it's a device that wraps um, around the neck and uh, at the wrist. Uh, it kind of immobilizes the shoulder, and but at the same time, it allows gravity to maintain reduction of the um, uh, of the fracture of the proximal humerus. So, so how did she break? How, how did she fracture her, her humerus? So um, she's a gymnast, uh, and apparently a very good gymnast, um, and uh, took a little tumble today at, at uh, gymnastics practice, uh, and ended up presenting to an outside hospital who got some X-rays of the. Uh, and saw a pretty dramatic displacement. Of, yeah, which uh, we'll show on the video. Yeah, pretty dramatic displacement of Salter Harris type 1 fracture with uh, basically the slit uh, emphasis of the, of the proximal humerus. Um, and you say it's pretty easy to manage in, not, in reality. The, the, whole, the whole goal of these is just a little bit of axial traction. Yeah, so it's kind of what pulling you, through the shoulder joint. So, um, so you actually so. grasping here and just downward traction. Okay, and, um, the and, then, and then you had you had it actually. Uh, someone I did have some, some counter traction. Counter traction in the yeah. axilla there, and it really it wasn't it wasn't very forceful. It was, it okay. was pretty gentle, and um, you could you felt it move, and uh, and just like felt her, got a radiograph and um, saw that it was in place. Yeah, very good. So now let's say she was under eight years of age. Uh, sure. So um, her being the age she is, which is older than that. It needed, it needed some reduction. Um, now, the younger the patient is, the um, the more deformity you can accept at the proximal humerus. And, okay. Uh, I believe the most recent literature says that as, as much as uh, 70 degrees of angulation and 100% displacement for, for oh, young wow. patients. Oh, wow. Because um, they just, they, they remold and... They do. They remodel. Um, and the shoulder, even with that deformity, if it becomes fixed. The shoulder has such a great range of motion that it can compensate for that degree of deformity. Okay. So we did a little procedural sedation. We did like half dose ketamine because she had significant opiates on board in addition because of her pain and all that. But mm -hmm. all right, well, thanks so much for uh, helping with this video. Happy